kindly join us in the prayer to Jesus the Divine Word. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you were Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself, through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary. You became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, Please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today we are celebrating the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Our Mass Presider for today is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, and also the World Day of Prayer for Peace. Before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, Lord Almighty Father, Father, Father Almighty, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are most high, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom you, we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, 
God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise on the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Once he saw, they understood that what had been told them concerning the child was true. All who heard of it were astonished at the report given them by the shepherd. Mary treasured all these things and reflected on them in her heart. Shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen in accord with what had been told them. When the eighth day arrived for his circumcision, the name Jesus was given the child, the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. May the blessing of God on this first day of the year be upon us and remain with us always. Today we celebrate the feast, the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Every organization needs laws. Once there's a large group of people, laws are needed so that there will be order. May kaayusan. So Philippines, 115, 120 million, we need laws. And we need lawyers to interpret those laws. But those laws are based on the constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. And there will be many interpretation that will come out. So, there is a final decision maker, the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Philippines. So we choose intelligent people, people of integrity to be there. Because once they decide, there's nowhere else we can go. My point is, the Catholic Church is also an organization. In fact, we're very large. We're more than 1.3 billion Catholics all over the world. We need laws. We need a final decision-making body. And that's the councils. Bishops come together, then they will decide. And we believe that their decision is inspired by God because Jesus said, whatever, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So, when there were many interpretations of scripture, in fact, I will tell you, it was only in 399 that the bishops agreed, decided that there will be 27 books in the New Testament. There were a lot of books 
pinag-aaralan namin sa seminaryo yeah. Some are apocryphal, legendary, basta yung 27 andyan. The first council was in 325. What was the decision? Arius said that Jesus is less than the Father. In fact, that He was created by the Father, that there was a time when He was not. So the Council of Nicaea in 326 decided He is consubstantia. One in being, one in substance with the Father. Gaya ng sinabi sa Colossians, Ano ang Ama? Siya rin ang anak. He is the image of the invisible God. One substance with the Father and that's why the Nicene Creed, the longer one, says God from God, light from light, true God from true God, consubstantial with the Father. Now, in 431, there was another interpretation that Mary is not only is only the mother of Christ not the mother of God and then the bishops came again council of Ephesus and decided that Mary is Theotokos Theos God bearer God bearer not only the human part of Jesus but also the divine because the council of Nicaea already said You could not separate the human and the divine in the being of Jesus Christ. Theotokos. Solemn pronouncement by all the bishops during the time in 431 that Mary is the Holy Mother of God. That's, all. That's why it's very important not for Mary but for Jesus. He is mother, she is mother of God because Jesus is true God and true man. The baby that was born in Bethlehem is true God and true man. True real human being with body and soul but also one in being with the Father. Consubstantia, kaisa sa pagkadyos ng Ama. So, secondary na lang si Mary talaga eh. Hindi naman yan pinapahalagahan na kagaya ng sabi ng mga ilang sekta na protestante na wala ng ultimate decision making body kung ano-ano na lang ang interpretation nila sa Bible hindi nila alam kung pinapataw na ba nila yung sarili nilang pagkaunawa do katoliko hindi may santo papa pag tinawag niyan ang council lahat ng mga obispo infallible cannot be mistaken ang mga decision nila ultimate decision making body are the ecumenical councils of the Catholic Church. Kaya tayo nagkakaisa. Yung walang ultimate decision making body, ang dami-dami na ngayon, isang daang libo ata yung mga Protestant sects. So balikan natin si Mary. Basta ang nais ko lang sabihin dyan na hindi natin tinataas si Mary na dahil sa kanyang sarili. Tinataas natin siya dahil sabi ng ecumenical councils yung pinanganak niya Diyos at taong totoo hindi mo mapaghiwalay kaya ina din siya ng Diyos solemnity of Mary the mother of God Theotokos sabi ng council of Ephesus ano ibig sabihin niyan ngayon? Ay, nakakatakbo tayo sa kanya Lalo na ngayon, 96% ng mga Pilipino have hopes that 200, uh, the coming year, 2024, will be better than last year. Laki ng pag-asa ng mga Pilipino. Kahit ang daming nakaambang mga panganib na gusto ko, sanang hilingin sa inyo na yan ang ating ilapit sa kanya. The Theotokos is also Queen of Peace. 
So in the light of Russia-Ukraine war, in the light of the Hamas-Israel war, in the light of the danger of war exploding in the West Philippine Sea dahil inaagaw ng China, bully din ng China eh. Kinukuha yung ating West Philippine Sea na ang layo ay layo na nila doon 1,500 kilometers away. Magtatayo daw ng mga kampo sa Ayungin Shoal ang Philippine Army. Eh, hindi na natin alam kung anong mangyayari dyan. Dahil pumapasok na rin ang France. Sabi ng France, we will patrol ang layo-layo na ng France. Nakikialam dito. Pati ang Amerika. Kasi pag hindi na sila nakakadaan dyan, masisira ang ekonomiya. Ilapit natin kay Mary Theotokos, Mother of God, na sana hindi magkakaroon ng digmaan sa China at matapos na yung digmaan sa Ukraine at Russia at sa Hamas at saka sa Israel. Ang panglawa, kasi andyan ako eh, sa AI. Maraming nangangamba sa AI ngayon. Guguluhin tayo niya. Manalangin tayo sa ating ina na sana ang gobyerno, sila naman ang ultimate decision-making body, gagawa ng mga rules and regulation kasi nakakatakot yan eh. Pwedeng kunin niyong, yung mukha mo, pasasalitain nila, nakukuha din yung boses mo. Pagkatapos nakikipag-usap na, hindi lang yung siya lang nagsasalita dyan. Pag tinanong mo yung kamukha mo, magsasabi na bakit kailangan mo ng 45,000? Papaliwanag niya. AI lahat yon Hindi na ikaw na yon na nakikipag-usap doon sa iyong kapatid na humihingi ng 45,000. Malaking gulo ang gagawin ng AI. Pero marami din siyang naitutulong. Ginagawa namin ngayon, Mayroon kaming AI-powered app. Sasabihin ng teacher, gawan mo nga ako ng lesson plan sa science, yung digestive system. Lagyan mo na rin ng PowerPoint presentation, lagyan mo ng mga pictures. Pagkatapos, gawan mo ng assessment method, gawa ka ng mga test. Ano yung multiple choice ba? O is it? Gagawin niya. Seven seconds. Nasa amin na. Pagdasal niya, na mapapayagan kami na papagamit sa mga teachers ng ALS para yung sampung milyong mga out of school youth hindi nakatapos ng high school ay matulungan natin. AI and the dangers. But there are also benefits. So let us ask the Blessed Mother to give us the right creativity, collaborative thinking, critical thinking, systems thinking, so that we will not be swamped by generative AI. The third, the greatest danger, ilalapit natin ngayon sa ina ng Diyos, ay yung climate change. Naguguluhan na ang mga scientists dahil wala pa tayong ginagawa. Lagi na nilang sinasabi na pag lumampas ng 1.5 degrees centigrade ang dagdag ng temperature in the planet, we will be devastated. The ice in the Himalayas, in the Arctic, and the Antarctic will melt. Devastating. Eh? There will be droughts in some places, and it will be very cold in some places. Climate change po, yeah. Because of climate change, mahaba-haba ngayon ang El Nino. Drought po yan. Baka walang tutubo doon sa itatanim na mga magsasaka dahil sobra ang init. Panalangin natin sa mahal na birhen na sana may makakain pa tayo. At sana, hipuin ng mahal na birhen ang mga katoliko. Maski katoliko na lang muna na sumunod doon sa Santo Papa. Nagtatanim kami ng 1 billion bambo. A-absorb niyan ang carbon dioxide at greenhouse gases. Bababa yung temperature. Para sa inyong mga anak at mga apo yan. Lapit natin sa mahal na birhen. Number one din tayo sa plastic na tinatapo. Napakasalaula ng Pilipino. 
Malinis naman sa kanilang sariling katawan, pero sa kapaligiran, 300,000 tons of plastic pupunta ng Pacific yan. Kakainin ng mga isda yan. Mamamatay ang mga pawikan yan. Hilingan naman natin sa mahal na birhen para yung susunod na saling lahi na may pananagutan din tayo sa kanila, ay hindi naman masyadong mahirapan. So Mary, Teotokos, please pray for us. Kindly stand as we proclaim our faith to a wounded world. That God is love, He promises us joy that will never end. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, the new year ushers in new challenges and opportunities, as well as new hopes for a more lasting peace. Let us pray to the Father that the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, the Queen of Peace, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in a wounded world. Let our response be, God of Peace, listen to our prayer. God of Peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and deacons, May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Persevere and be faithful in the vocation you have called us to undertake. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations. May they value dialogue more than dissent and promote restorative justice so that people may live in tranquility and work for their advancement. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for all those persecuted because of religion, class, race, gender, or color. May they find support and comfort from those who work for justice and peace and in their community. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the souls of our brothers and sisters. Grant them the reward of eternal life. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God of peace, 
listen to our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble supplications. Help us to spend our whole life in your service and bring peace to our brothers and sisters. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Rise. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived the only begotten Son, and where, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
found the world holy name. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Theotokos, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. confidence 
to our Father in heaven. In the prayer, Jesus, true God and true man himself, taught us. graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, Son of Mary, Savior of the world. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at His table. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice, proclaim, blessed ever risen Mary, mother of your son, and mother of your church, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. Amen. May he give you integrity in faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. May the blessing of the Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the Divine Word. Thanks be to God. Mas Kristo mapit na 